AABIP video educational series. This video will discuss the anatomy and setup of a chest tube collecting system. The features of the chest drainage system we will discuss include the setup, different chambers of the drainage system, titling, and assessment of air leak as well as setting up of suction. Once the chest tube drain has been removed from the box, rotate the swing out stand from the bottom so it can stand independently. Next, remove the sterile fluid that comes with the atrium container, twist the top off, and insert it into the suction port. Squeeze the contents into the water seal until fluid reaches a 2 cm fill line. The collection chamber is the first chamber in the system and it is designed to collect and measure the fluid or air drained from the pleural space. The water seal chamber acts as a barrier preventing air from entering the pleural space. The third chamber is the suction control chamber which is used to regulate the amount of suction applied to the pleural space. The amount of suction may vary depending on the patient and is controlled by the chest drainage system, not the suction source. When a patient has a chest tube inserted to drain fluid or air from the pleural space, the water seal chamber serves as a barrier that prevents air from entering the pleural space. As the patient breathes, the pressure within the pleural space changes, causing the fluid in the water seal chamber to move up and down with each breath. This movement is known as titling. The air leak meter is shown on the bottom left of the screen. The meter measures the degree of leak from the chest cavity. The meter is made up of columns, usually 1 through 7. The higher number column generally indicates the severity of the leak. It is important to check the drainage system, the entire length of the chest tube, as well as insertion site, as problems in these areas can all lead to an air leak. To set up suction, turn the suction source on. Hook up the wall suction to the suction port of the chest drain. You should see the orange suction monitor bellows expand beyond the triangle mark, indicating that suction is working. The suction power can be adjusted using the rotary dial on the side of the drain.